Carly Baker in the house as well. Veronica Hardy trying to return. Ready, ready. With a big win Fight. tonight, she takes on Juliana Miller. Miller in black, Hardy is in yellow, and we are underway. So for Miller, it sounds strange because she's the taller girl, the longer girl, you can clearly see that. But I would say it would you know, be a wise move for her to close the distance. Mercedes got very, very good kicks. High level Taekwondo. If you get in the range in the pocket, you're taking away those kicks. Crowd the kicker. Yeah, you don't, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want to find her range and be able to fight behind that Taekwondo background. Hardy's a good striker. She has, oh. she lands. Miller did not like that one. No, they're throwing down early though. Look at this. Miller is kind of, you know, I'm gonna say kind of crazy. She had a crazy youth. I actually said the first time she used jujitsu was choking out a meth head in the <laughs> nightclub. Started yeah. doing jujitsu after the nightclub had finished on the dance floor and stuff. She's a colorful girl. She's got some uh, interesting stories. Oh, nice jab, but she's getting caught by Macedo. Yeah. Hardy has talked a lot about her husband, Dan Hardy, as an MMA encyclopedia, who she has been able to lean on really for the last three years. There's no overstating the value of that. And apologies, I just called her Veronica Macedo. That's her maiden name, yes. Veronica Hardy, of course. Apologies, Dan. Well, what's happening is Miller's having a tough time closing the distance because she's trying to close the distance with big shots opposed to maybe jab, jab to get close and move her head. All right, let us now check in on that corner of Veronica Hardy. Up the Lovely. Lovely Come up the center. Up Nerves the center. Nerves are setting in, V. You can see it in her face. Nerves are setting in. Keep using those feints. Lovely range change. You know, yep. Yep. Keep faking, V, keep faking. Don't chase, let it come. Yes! Let's go a tiny bit lower. Let's go a tiny bit lower. Set it up with hands. Make sure you and have I the line. Lead hands. There's lovely movement, lovely work. Lovely and I believe, nice I believe that Miller's just too square. Mike, you know anytime you get an opponent that's in front of you like that and showing you their entire front side. She doesn't cut an angle with her shoulders. She Look at how much of her the real estate yep, she's yep. giving. Hardy, she's completely square, so Hardy can see all of her chest and throw her shots down the middle. You have got to cut a corner if you're trying to approach someone. That's actually a really good point, Dan. She is oftentimes square right in front of Macedo. And as we said, sorry, Hardy, my word. Old habits die hard. Yeah. Um, and for Hardy, she's a lifelong martial artist, yep. and you can see the pedigree of that. Now, Mercedes is a fighter, and they're just yeah. trying to polish out the skills, learn the jiu-jitsu, oh. the striking, and all oh. the rest of it. Oh. But she's getting caught every time she tries to close the distance. Yeah, Hardy is eating her up when she gets close. And because she's following her, Mike, look at yep. that. Yep. She's just following. She's got to find a way to change this. Well, this would be a good idea to try and take it to the ground. Hardy shouting out there, you're too strong in the clinch. First time in a UFC corner for Dan Hardy since UFC 115 back in June of 2010 when he cornered Mac Danzig. Miller acknowledged Hardy as not just exciting but underrated. Yes, she sure did. She it, recognized the challenge in front of her regardless of what the odds said, J.A. Yeah, that's right. She said she uh, you know, she might have lost a few, but they were two girls much bigger than herself. Now we see Miller trying to get the takedown. Careful, though. Careful what you wish for. As I said before on the walk, Hardy's biggest win was the armbar of Apollyana Viana. Hit that almost immediately when he hit the canvas, but loses control there, DC. That's a mistake by Miller, but look, she jumped on the arm. She's attacking submission right away. But, but here's, yes, now she can go triangle. Before I was like, she doesn't really have anything. She's got the arm on the wrong side. Go. Yeah, I was gonna say, she, there is no arm there. It's a really good round so far for Hardy. Landed a lot of good strikes. I mean, Miller's trying to get that arm bar there, but the elbow is nowhere near oh, where it needs to be. Oh, heavy shot by Hardy. Back to the feet, waiting seconds here. 
of what has been a good first round for the underdog Hardy. Right here you see Hardy lunging in. They kind of get their feet crossed. It looks like Miller goes down, but that was more of a trip opposed to a shot. Nice little left hand by Hardy. Another one right on the nose of Miller. Miller's like very extended. She gets a big punch off here where she lands a right hand. But man, that, that first round. Tonight live on pay-per-view, Edwards Usman three for the UFC welterweight title. Also lightweights Justin Gaethje and Rafael Fazeev in an electric co-main event. You can buy UFC 286 right now, ESPNplus.com slash PPV, and UFC.com slash pay-per-view everywhere else around the globe. Numbers don't tell the whole story, but Hardy landed nearly 60% of her significant strike offerings in round one and get right back to work round two. And some of those shots, John, they were nasty. I gotta say, Miller, we know she's tough, but she can take a shot because she took a lot of shots, a lot of hard, vicious punches in round one. And she's right back to it. Is. Big oh. right hand connection for Miller. Yeah, so a couple of good shots there, trying to take advantage while she's a little rocked. Seems that hard is recovered, though. There it is, but messed up again. Right into Mount. Oh no, pardon me, half guard. She just keeps pulling her over the top of her. She's not trying to finish these take nods technically, but she's got an arm bar here. Got an arm bar there, and this looks, is a better attempt. Looks kind of deep. The elbow seems to be past the fulcrum. The midpoint. Look at that. They're dropping a fulcrum. It's pretty early for you to be dropping a fulcrum. I'll drop a fulcrum whenever I want, John Anik. <laughs> Potentially a tenuous moment here for Hardy. This is this is not this is dangerous for Hardy. I don't know if she's fully got it though. It seems a bit nah, the now legs have gone. Down. No, no, no. She's got nothing there. She's got now nothing. She's, oh no no. No, yeah. She's, she's got nothing. She's got a hold of her arm, but there's no danger. Once she switched sides, she killed the danger. Beautiful job by Hardy recognizing that. But that was a much better attempt there by Miller. Hardy corner calling for some damaging strikes, maybe some elbows here. 90 seconds gone by round two. Miller seemingly favoring submission over position here early in this fight. Yeah, and that's a, I was gonna say almost an amateur mistake to make these days. You know, top position is so crucial. She's had opportunities though, man, in the yep. Th that if, if there's one thing that Hardy isn't doing, she is not keeping the hips covered. She's allowing them to get off to the side way too easy. And Miller's rolling for that arm bar yeah, over every over time. Again. Yeah. And Hardy just doesn't cover. There, I mean, there it is. Again. I'm just going to say she's just going to. She does not cover her hips. The right leg over the head, and it's right there. And the arm's deep in there as well. The left arm of Hardy is what's in danger there. But the non initiated. <laughs> I think everyone's initiated these days, right, John? That's right. Even Brendan Fitzgerald. <laughs> Shout out, Brendan. Hope you well, buddy. You know, the, the thing about this with Hardy is when Miller keeps rolling to these arm bars, you can pull out of them. You can escape them until you don't. You got to start defending that a little bit earlier. I tell you. just landed a beautiful elbow there. Yeah, that was a big shot. And again, sorry, John, go ahead. I was going to say, that's a fairly significant mouse on the head of Juliana Miller. You may have noticed the live odds populate there. Perhaps it's having to do with Miller's damaging strikes, but surprised to see plus 190 next to Hardy's name, given all she's gotten done. Well, I'll be honest, so far it's all been Hardy. Hardy's yeah. been in control of this fight. Yeah, Miller tried to take it down, lost position both times. Submission times. attempts, maybe? A couple of submission attempts, but, I mean, in terms of doing damage, it's been almost one-way traffic. Miller's landed a couple of shots on the feet, but the frequency and the... And the you know what Hardy does really well? When Miller does get to an armbar attempt, she does not let her get her left leg over the fr in the front of her head. She keeps her head in the middle, so she never can completely isolate the arm. Nice inside leg kick there by Miller, and a good job by the referee, Lucas Bosaki, making sure there was separation as the athletes got upright. There's a nice body kick from Hardy there a second ago as well. Well, be the first to know about new products and sign up to receive 10% off your first online order. Scan the QR code there now to save. Some exclusions apply. Shop the widest selection of UFC gear only at UFCstore.com.
This position here, like she's got her arm over the top in the wizard. Her trying to step over will never work because all you have to do, all you have to do is just drive pressure into that wizard and then you end up on top as Hardy has done once again to Miller. Miller's making a massive mistake by just forcing takedown. I understand the stand-up isn't going her way, but these takedown attempts are putting her in even worse position. And she's making mistakes on the ground with the submission attempts as well. She's trying for a Kimura here. I mean, she's got a good hold of the grip. Now she's adjusted. She needs a leg, the opposite. Well, that right leg needs to be over the back. And, and Hardy needs to be on her. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, there's some really interesting gra grappling sequences from Miller. It's kind of making it up as she goes along <laughs> in some ways. So. All right, now here's Miller. This was the start of the round. Goes forward, lands a nice right hand there, and a left one kind of glances there, punching forward, tries for the takedown, gets it, but didn't secure it, and of course, nicely adjusted by Hardy. Took half guard. Here's some of the... The ground and pound attacks from Hardy, vicious strikes, landed a few elbows in there as well while she was trying to go for the armbar, but here's a big one, nice shot there. Again, there's a real sting and a viciousness. The shot. Right there. Definitely some urgency, DC, in that corner of Juliana Miller from Rick Little, Richie Boogeyman, Martinez, could very well be 2-0 Hardy as we come up on this third round. But I'm telling you the truth, John, she's got to get a finish. Yeah. But, I mean, she looks even more confused now. Right? She doesn't, she hasn't really formulated a plan as to how she's gonna get to Hardy. She can't just charge in like that. She's no. gotta set something up. I mean, this is her sixth fight, and it's kinda showing, and I say that with respect. You know, she's a little outmatched there in terms of technique against Hardy. And you know, she wants to win, so she went in there, she got a little bit reckless, presented her back. Hardy gets the takedown, again, trying for a Kimura, but that right leg needs to be out and over the back of Hardy to present any real kind of danger. Yeah, she, she advanced that Kimura position, so she's going back to it. And we have spent a lot of time talking about Miller, but talk about how good Veronica Hardy has looked after three years away from the Octagon. She looks like she has gotten a ton better in every regard of mixed martial arts. With, with that question, Daniel, great footwork. I mean, she's always possessed nice movement on the feet and great kicks but a good understanding of mixed martial arts in general. Escape to the, the attempt there. A leg lock attempt, a knee bar now for Miller. This is a bit more promising. Yeah. Oh, He's oh. in deep here. Look at the flexibility of Hardy. Yeah. She's got to fight the hands. If you're Hardy, you got to start fighting the hands. Well, Miller needs to get her legs together. Legs together, surrounding the leg, and then really push the hips forward and pull that leg back. She's lost the angle now. It's still, it's still possible, though. Hardy trying to punish that body to loosen up the grip of Miller. Just over three minutes now to decide this one. And those body shots must have hurt, John, because it made Miller actually change her position a little bit. You need to be, your pelvis needs to be face down on the kneecap. She's a little bit off to the side of the knee joint. Therefore, the knee bar is not going to work. It's kind of completely gone now. Hardy talked about in the past, fighting more on instinct. Now she really has a whole thought process in there and really a remarkable return here through two and a half rounds. Yeah, she has looked phenomenal. She does not look like the same fighter. We have seen her fight fights where she's had moments, but she looks like a complete mixed martial artist today. Hardy turned pro back in 2016, actually had her first seven pro bouts that year. Comes in tonight with more than twice as much experience as Miller to sort of back up your point, Michael. Yeah, that's right. The experience is really showing. You know, it's, it's kind of tough for Miller. She wins the Ultimate Fighter. Of course, now she gets a UFC contract and she's learning on the job. But, you know, that doesn't take anything away from Hardy. She's doing a fantastic job. What Miller's doing, when she attacks Hardy's right arm, it's like she's trying to arm bar the right arm, when, that, when reality is the setup is she's setting up is more of an omoplata because the arm's on the wrong yeah, side, yeah, right? Know, it's like I she know. should be trying to go omoplata when she goes there, but she's trying to almost arm bar the wrong side. Look at Hardy with that now on the head of Miller. If she can continue to rotate, there would be an opportunity, but no. Hardy has really put it on her, man.
Up kick attempt there from Miller with those long legs, but she's got to get up. She's got 90 seconds now to get a finish. But Hardy, continue doing what you're doing. She's having a great fight. Nice left. Good left connection now. Judo Jim Wallhead enjoying the action from the Hardy corner. I mean, again, just forcing, John, forcing the takedown. This is, this is, listen, Veronica Hardy has looked amazing. But for Juliana Miller, there is going to be a lot that she will be able to go back and work on with her team because there are a lot of things that are very evident yes. that she can fix. All right, yeah. under a minute to go, let us check back in quickly with that Hardy corner. Ooh, nice crack to the ear by Hardy after Miller appeared to land. Hurt bad. Yes, head position now. See, head position. So oh my goodness. Seconds, Don't knee. rush. Knee, but do not rush the takedown. Watch your elbow. Watch your elbow line. Watch your elbow line. Head position. Head position. Do not let wrap the elbow. Let's break it down here. Let's break it down here. Watch that. Yeah. And another takedown. Stay heavy. I mean, considering Hardy isn't a wrestler, he certainly looks like one tonight. Won all the grappling exchanges. Couple of takedown attempts from, uh, sorry, submission attempts from Miller, but Hardy coming back to the octagon three years away has looked very, very good. That kick hurt her bad. Yep. What a moment for Veronica Hardy. Three years of preparation, knowledge absorption, and she comes in tonight as a plus 320 underdog and looks as though she's going to hand Juliana Miller her first loss in the UFC. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you ask me, John. That's going to be a 30-27 round. Beautiful right hand by Hardy on the ground here. Miller comes back with what is probably her best shot of the entire fight. That body shot early in the third round was nasty from Hardy. I thought she could have did more of that. Miller landed a nice right hand there on the charge. Another left hand lands for Hardy. Now, guys, let's take a listen to that head kick that landed in the final round. So surprised that Miller was able to... Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 30-27, for the winner, by unanimous decision, Veronica!